All right, folks, let me just say a couple more words about this whole story. Look, Joe Biden can blather on as much as he wants about uh, Republican insurrectionism that never existed, all right? Uh, I'm going to vote that the voting public uh, could care less about what was essentially a protest rally that went bad three years ago. Mr. Trump was neither charged nor convicted of insurrection. It's a Biden red herring, and it's meant to distract from all of the Biden policies gone bad, and it is not going to work. Now, look it. Besides unaffordable Bidenomics, the, catastrophe, uh, the catastrophe at the southern border, and $3 trillion of regulations stifling small business, even decent job reports have been revised significantly lower by an incredible 443,000 in just the last four months. Here's another Biden policy blunder. As we just talked with Peter Ducey, in the middle of two wars, arguably three wars if you count the southern border catastrophe, Joe Biden forgot to talk to his defense secretary for a week or nearly a week. Now, SecDef Lloyd Austin and the White House are scrambling to somehow paper this over. First of all, he was in the ICU, the intensive care unit, which is not the best place to manage bombing missions over Iranian-backed terrorist groups, or for that matter, to manage the U.S.-Israel alliance with American hostages still held by Hamas. Then the Defense Department tries to sell us that responsibility was shifted to the Deputy Secretary of Defense, Ms. Kathy Hicks, but she was in Puerto Rico on vacation. Then they're spooning out the Chief of Staff of the Secretary's office had the flu, so she couldn't tell us. Here's two more troublesome issues. First, what about the President's daily intelligence briefing? Has he been getting that without any DOD input or Lloyd Austin input? Or isn't the SEC def supposed to be, at the very least, hooked in to that briefing? Did Joe Biden not miss General Austin? And then the matter of the Situation Room. Sit room staff, as I said to Peter Ducey, they're supposed to know where every cabinet member or cabinet-level senior staffer is every day because the president might call. From my own experience, the sit-room people are very good. And I worked for a president who was constantly calling at all times, day or night. In fact, one Sunday evening, he tracked me down in a Washington, D.C. movie theater. Just saying. The sit-room people and the White House operators are usually as good as it gets. How could this communications chain of command broke down? There's something seriously wrong with the Biden operation. It has nothing to do with insurrection. The Bidens need to look at themselves in the mirror. They need to recheck all of their badly managed operations. While they're at it, they ought to think about completely changing their failed left-wing policies. And that is my riff.